Welcome, this is Lady M, and we're going to continue the Stanley Parable. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Matter of time. Oh, look at that. They left all their computers on. Hmm. Some of these that were on before, I don't want to know. Okay. I guess everything's going to be pretty much the same. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The left goes to the boss's office, the right goes... Yeah, somewhere else. This was but not we'll the see. correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps too majestic. Like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. Dead. At last, proof that he was human. Okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah, so that, um... That is maybe the dream thing. We don't want to do that. I know Stan we've done this so before. Following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So we're gonna go straight across again. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've got. I really wish we could get down there now. to that door. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that I, your I don't know a way to do that. Difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to mm. redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been uh, waiting. This is the mannequin wife. Yeah, I think I've done everything. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one okay. to do this. To reach Gold out phone. to Well, we haven't done if this. You truly... Oh, no, 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 you can't. Yes. Did you just unplug the phone? We did unplug but the that phone. That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? Let's Why see didn't what you happens. Know that was possible? Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. We Not found picking something up the phone different. It's actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? Thank None you to the viewer to mean anything. who put that uh, possibility How in my comments. Choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Huh. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. Interesting. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer oh radius gosh. of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. 
If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Hmm. <laughs> practice. Oh, it's 4.30. I'm supposed to be having a... Yeah. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome oh. back. You may Something have different. This room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Yes. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Interesting. I don't remember seeing this before. Okay. Let's go this way. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the yeah, story. We've that done story that. would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before oh. the narrative contradiction. Maybe I finally get to go through that door. Unfortunately, Maybe? It seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay. No, can't go there. Oh, are they gonna send me back where I came from? Really? Okay, I guess I have to keep going here. Back to the Almost break room. there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Okay. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't want to go on the left. Let's go this way again. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, you're really forcing this, aren't you? Okay. Fine, we'll go on the left. Do we really? Alright, just try this one more time. Okay. You are forcing our hand to go to the left. Here we go. We are in the left. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after huh. everything we talked Look about. Look at that. You, my story. You've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? This what is awesome. What did you awesome. think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I don't I... know. What do you, you know, do? I have, to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Shut the game down. Hmm. What does this mean? 
and it's going to restart. Ooh, where are we now? Oh, I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in okay. this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. I don't know where are we. There's the thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That Ooh. thought hadn't even He's occurred to you. Angry. Had it, that there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. ...is behave exactly and... as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my I guess it restarted again? All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, you know, we can't do that. We have to go and just no! obey. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. And we get another exactly restart? Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All okay. right. <clears throat> we'll try when this Stanley one more time. Came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We'll go through the right again. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Okay, they're not it's leaving us exactly much choice. Would. So that I guess we're going to have to go to the left. And always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. We'll go through the door on the left. So you don't have to restart again. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, we already know what happens at the boss's office. Coming to a staircase, oh. Stanley walked huh. upstairs to his boss's office. They're blocking off every option. He is making us go straight like he wants us to. Okay. He's totally blocking options. Let's see if the bathroom's open. Nope. It's a different door. It's not even marked bathroom. That door shut. That door isn't open. Oh, this is different. It's green. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, this unraveled, is different. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond Ooh. all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Nighthawk 115. Hmm. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Well, I'm trying to. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please, speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Well, I can't exactly do that, can I? 
Okay, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? I Speak. couldn't Say something go. to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Ooh, he's mad. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ha! Huh, now I'm on the ceiling. Um, hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Oh, how funny. Oh, please. I, I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening the to The end. Me? Thank you for playing the, the Stanley Parable. Is everything all right? Stanley, this is Oh, we got story. credits. The story needs you. It needs nice. to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you okay. make, fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'm going to consider this the very end of the game and that forward. we've played Please. almost everything uh, that we can. Do something. So Anything. I was kind of having trouble know. finding something new, and this I this was this. it. So, story needs it. Um, so maybe if you know of something new that I there. didn't see or that I, you know, I missed there. in my playthrough... Um, Okay. Let me know. It's Otherwise, okay. I'm really happy with this. This was a lot of fun. Time I enjoyed it. Sure Thank you so much correct. for following along. And I will let That's these right. credits roll. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Yeah, Stanley doesn't know what to do without us. So, thank you for watching. And uh, catch you next time. Bye-bye.